but you're going to open up your mail. You're going to have a few items in your, in your mailbox here. Um, one of the items being a unlock token. But if you prefer um, assault rifles, go with infantry. If you prefer like something more heavy, like a, like a light machine gun. Going for the bayonet. Oh, I'm going for the bayonet. I'm going for the bayonet. There you go. Oh, I wanted that too. I wanted that too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's a slapper. <laughs> Alright, he's busy over there. I'm going around. I'm going around. Oh, it's, it's such a... It's such a monster of a weapon. Like, it's fast, too. Like, that's the thing. Alright, hey, what's going on guys? How do you do? It's your boy Gray here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are finally going to get into some Call of Duty World War II content here, man. Finally, the game has been it has been released and it is available for everybody right now. And I gotta say, man, something really, really bad happened at the very start of the game here. Uh, when it was released at midnight, for the people who were waiting for that midnight release, nobody could join a multiplayer session at that time. Anybody who was waiting for the midnight release once that once it you know once it was available and we all logged in servers went down how do you guys let that how do you how do you know how does sledgehammer activision call of duty how do you guys let this happen on the biggest release date like that you guys are expecting man like this is crazy like you should have been prepared man you should have known that everybody was going to jump on at that one time and you know that there was a possibility that the servers would have been overloaded but you know what, man? Hopefully, you guys learn from this experience, and it won't happen again. But um, man, yeah, uh, we weren't able to we weren't able to play the game for like three hours, man. It was crazy. Like for about two and a half to three hours, we weren't able to play the game. Um, well, you could play campaign, you could play some zombies, you could play like local matches, but aside from that, you weren't able to play multiplayer. And um, yeah, yeah, it was just a it was a bad look on on Call of Duty World War Two. Uh, but aside from that, man, the game is finally here. And I've been playing for a while now. I've been playing for about two hours. I just finished up a, a live stream, grinding it out for, you know, the first couple of hours here that we were able to live stream. And um, I'm sorry, that we were able to play multiplayer and stuff like that. And honestly, man, I had a lot of fun. Everybody watching the stream was happy to be there, watching some gameplay, you know, watching us level up and stuff like that. Taking a look at the quartermaster that you guys are seeing. I'm sorry, not the quartermaster, the headquarters that you guys are seeing right here, man. I mean, this is definitely something new. The, uh, the headquarters here has like a very destiny to feel to it like like it has a destiny feel like there's a quartermaster right here um there's a there's a major howard over here there's like a mail spot over here for your mail there's like a general area back there like a theater mode inside like it has a very like destiny to feel people are dropping supply drops here pick like you, you can see what they get and stuff like that um it's awesome man i gotta say it's a lot of fun and we're, we're gonna go into so many more details and videos and stuff on the quarter mat on the i keep saying quarter mass on the head on the headquarters here and just everything man but today guys i wanted to do a video um kind of giving you guys a quick beginner's tips for those of you who haven't started playing the game yet and maybe you guys are like waiting for today um after school or something or after work to play the game and uh get your hands on the game and you guys just want to get some tips and tricks um i'm going to share with you some tips and tricks we're going to go over a few things that i feel like will, will, uh, will help your experience here and um yeah i hope it helps you out i feel like it's, it helped me out a lot so i want to share the information your way so you know what man before we get into that here if you guys are brand new to the channel don't forget to subscribe for more daily content i upload every single day guys i live stream almost every single day once you subscribe you can enter the giveaway for a 50 dollars psn or xbox gift card and if you enjoyed this video here if you enjoyed the information if you just want to show some love and support to your boy gray definitely hit that thumbs up on the screen that like button it would really help us grow all right so with all that out the way man let's get into today's video here um let's go over some beginners tips for you guys so these are these are some things that i feel like as a beginner it's good knowledge to have all right so let's go over the first thing that i want to talk about Whenever, when you first um, get into the headquarters here and you go over to the mail section, um, the mail is right here. Um, you're gonna you're gonna open up your mail. I, I don't have anything at the moment, but you're gonna open up your mail. You're gonna have a few items in your, in your mailbox here. Um, one of the items being a unlock token. Uh, and I want to talk to you guys about what weapon you should unlock 
when uh, with your unlock token. And I feel like there's a few weapons that are good options, but I feel like there is one weapon that is the most like useful weapon that you're going to unlock. And um, it's you're going to get the most out of unlocking that weapon. All right. So with all that said, man, let me show you guys what weapon I'm talking about. All right, guys. So you can see right here, man, this is the weapon that I'm talking about. This is, in my opinion, this is going to be the go to weapon here. This is this is going to be the NV4. This is going to be the K bar, you know, and it's funny enough. It's 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 pronounced bar. It's the name is bar. Um, honestly, man, this is the weapon that I personally feel you should use your unlock token on the bar. Now, this is a standard issue bar here. It is an automatic rifle with moderate recoil and fast fire rate. And I got to tell you guys, man, you unlock this weapon. Normally, you would unlock this weapon, at, I believe, around level, I think it's at 47 or 50, around around that area there. So it's one of the last weapons that you unlock as you level up. And um, I got to tell you guys, man, this is the use your unlock token on this weapon. Not only is it a powerful weapon, it has really good recoil. So it's not that crazy. To, it's not that hard, difficult to control. Um, the fire the fire rate is really good um it's very powerful uh let's see it's very accurate honestly man like i'm telling you man this weapon over its overall uh ability is very very on point uh you could go with something else like a submachine gun you could go with like the type 100 or the waf or even the uh the the tommy gun here the m1928 um yeah i'm not really too crazy about light machine guns or sniper rifles i mean you could even go with the stg if you really want to if you really want to play safe but you eventually you're early on in in your leveling up you're gonna be able to unlock the stg so i would say utilize the unlock token for something that you're not going to get until the very end of your of your um of your leveling up which would be the bar you're not going to get this weapon until you reach like level i think it's like 47 or 50 around that point so Honestly, man, if, you got, if I could give you guys that tip for beginners, if you have that unlock token that you get when you pre-order the, the, the game here, use it on the bar. I guarantee you guys you're not going to regret it. It is a very powerful weapon. Very good, very powerful, very accurate, fast recoil. I'm sorry, uh, moderate recoil and fast fire rate, man. Very good weapon here. So my advice for you guys, unlock the bar and take it out into the field and put in that work. All right, so there you guys have it. All right, guys, next thing I want to talk to you guys about, next thing I want to give you guys some uh, beginner tips on, uh, beginner tips and tricks on is your button layout and your controller settings. All right, so real quick, in my opinion, you should be running tactical. That's in my opinion. You're, you're back to boots on ground. That drop shot is life. That drop shot is a major key to getting a lot of kills and getting the upper hand on the enemy. Sometimes when you're in a battle, that drop shot is going to come in clutch and help you get that kill. So in order to get to hit those like really clutch uh, uh, drop shots, honestly, tactical is your button layout. And uh, whether you want to flip it or not, that's up to you. That's up to you guys. Um, but tactical is the way to go. And I would suggest, guys, there are a couple other things here. Um, your horizontal sensitivity and your vertical sensitivity should be around medium. Um, I'm running it at medium, but I was running it at a 5.5. Five. I even ran it at a 6.6, six and I felt pretty good. I just pushed it down to a 4.4 four to see how I felt with it. And it wasn't that bad. But I, I, me personally, guys, I think I'm going to leave it at 5.5 five for now. I feel like that's the sensitivity I feel very comfortable on. Um, I, would, I disabled my control controller vibration and um, let me see it did I did I do anything else here yeah I did one more thing here guys um I actually took motion blur out, off I disabled motion blur so I, I do this for every call of duty you don't necessarily need that on there so um let me see let me show you guys that one more time um button layout tactical uh to save uh wait I'm sorry five five sensitivity or you know whatever you feel comfortable on and um I disabled vibration and then I went over to graphics and I disabled the motion blur all right, so that's just gonna help you get the most out of your gameplay. It's, you're not gonna be, you're not gonna be, um, you're not gonna be distracted by like vibration or motion blur, and then you're gonna be able to control your set, your uh, your aim a lot better. All right, so definitely, guys, there is my tips and tricks for beginners right there for you guys who are just jumping into the match. And um, let's move on to the next one here. So at the very start of the game, um, you're going to get your option of choosing a division to be with. It's like basically just like you solidifying what division you want to be at the very beginning of the game. Um, me personally, guys, it all and I'll say this straight up. It just depends on your game mode. All right. Me personally, guys, you know me. I'm, a, I'm more of a submachine gun and a silent run and gun type. So obviously I'm going to go with airborne. But if you prefer um, assault rifles, 
go with infantry. If you prefer like a, something more heavy, like a, like a light machine gun, go with armored. If you prefer a shotgun, go with expeditionary. And if you, if you prefer sniper rifles, go with mountain. But honestly, man, in my opinion, I feel like air, airborne is, is probably the best one there. And like, like I said, man, it truly doesn't even matter, man. You could pick any single one of these and you just, you could play one match. And by the end of that match, you're going to be able to unlock another, another division. So it doesn't really matter, man. So it's just, uh, whatever you prefer. Um, just, just realize that just realize that whatever you pick, that's the first game that you're going to play as. So if you pick Airborne, you're going to play as Airborne, and you're going to play with the, um, excuse me, you're going to play with the uh, Airborne uh, Division and their and their weapons and stuff like that, So and their class setup. So yeah, um, just keep that in mind. But it, it truly doesn't matter. By the, by the end of the first game, or even the second game, you're going to have enough unlock tokens to unlock another Division and unlock a new weapon and stuff like that. So yeah, it's just, uh, just go with your, whatever your preference is, all right? All right, and last but certainly not least here, guys, let's talk about playstyle. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people are wondering, like, yo, how should I be playing World War II, man? Should I be playing aggressively, or should I be playing a little more laid back? Um, should I let the people come to me? Should I camp? Um, you know, like it, people are wondering, what's the playstyle? I've only been playing the game for about two hours, if even that. Um, and I gotta say, man, I'm a, I'm an aggressive player. Always have been, always will be. I'm an aggressive player, and I've I've noticed that. World War II, Call of Duty World War II doesn't really, it doesn't really do justice to the aggressive players. Like it doesn't do any, it doesn't give you any help. If you're an aggressive player, you're kind of screwed, man, because this game really utilizes the whole like, yo, plan out your attack, like, you know, be careful going around corners, uh, aim down your sight. Like it, it really, it really like trusts on that. Like speed is key. Obviously the movement system is going to be, it's take a little used to, but I would suggest if you're if you're beginning the game, if you're starting off, be very cautious. Just go, you know, just take it easy. Um, if, especially if you're just starting to learn the maps, um, I would suggest just to like you know, watch your corners. Um, keep an eye on the mini map wherever your enemy, wherever your teammates are. You could almost guarantee that the enemy is either going to be on, on the opposite side of them or to the left or to the right of them. All right. So if their teammates are behind you, their your enemy is going to be either in front of you or to the left or to the right. So you know it's just a, obviously a simple stuff like that. Um, just take it easy when you're out there. Uh, you know, play however you want. Like I play aggressive still, uh, but I do try every now and then to really like take a second before I go around the corner, or or just pre-aim before I go around the corner, stuff like that. So there's my beginner's tip for you guys. Um, what weapon to use? Uh, I'm sorry. What weapon to unlock? The controller settings. What division to unlock at the, at the very beginning, and how your playstyle should be. All right. Now, what I want to do for you guys is I actually wanted to show you guys some gameplay with the uh, with the with the bar with the bar um, uh, assault rifle here that I have. Um, it is I, honestly, man, it's a slapper. It's one of the most powerful weapons that I played with, and I played with the STG. I played with the M1 Garand. I played with the M1941. Honestly, man, the bar. It's up there, man. It's probably going to be one of the favorites of, of um, World War II, man, for sure. So, um, guys, right now I'm about to jump into a quick match of regular core, uh, a regular TDM here, just a regular core, not hardcore uh, team deathmatch. This is the class setup that I'm running with, man. Infantry with the bar, and I'm putting on here a reflex sight. I'm putting on here a quick draw, and then I have, because we're in the infantry, we get a third attachment for our uh, assault rifles. Um, I have a uh, I have a grip on here. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Boys and girls. Wait a second, boys. I'm putting on rapid fire. I didn't realize I had rapid fire unlocked. All right. There we go. Uh, reflex scope, rapid fire and grip all right so there you guys have it man and we're running the bar and then i'm gonna i'm gonna use the launcher as my secondary um the only reason i'm using my launcher is because i have a uh i have a contract that says i have to I have to get like 10 kills with the uh launcher so yeah maybe i could get a couple more there for the contract and um finally i'm gonna put on a fragmentation on there and uh yeah there you guys have it man let's jump into a match here i hope you guys enjoyed the information i hope you guys enjoyed the video here let's jump into a quick match so i can show you exactly what this bar assault rifle can do out in the field all right let's do this all right man here we go going through a let's try this out Oh. 
bad boy. Here we go. Should have had that. I should have had that. See, it's the little kills like that, like stuff like that, that you know, kind of annoys me. Bitch, man. Jesus. Idiots. That's good. I just spawned. Alright. That's good. No recoil, man. This thing is like a laser. Going for the bayonet. Oh, I'm going for the bayonet. I'm going for the bayonet. There you go. Oh, I wanted that too. I wanted that too. It's a slapper. <laughs> got that, got that. Alright, he's busy over there. I'm going around, I'm going around. Oh, it's, it's such a... It's such a monster of a weapon. Like, it's fast, too. Like, that's the thing. You know, I... I Kinda guessed it. I was like, wait, he's not gonna come here, he's gonna come from the other side. That's me, man. Should have had that. Let's go over here. Good. Middle. Oh my god. We're holding this down right here. We are holding this area down right now, man. Oh, the shock that came around the corner, man. All right, all right, but you guys are seeing this, man. You guys are seeing this. <laughs> Recon air bomb. Dropping Fritz X bomb. Right. My fault. I was looking at the mini map. That's on me. I should have had that. That's on me. God. Oh my god. What? What just happened there? Just spawned. I'm looking at 17 and 8. Not a bad. I mean, I'm telling you guys, it's it's a it's one of the better weapons, man. Definitely one of the better weapons, and if you use your unlock token on it, it's a smart, it's a smart decision. I'm telling you. 
All right, guys, so there you have it, man. There was the gameplay with the Bar Assault Rifle. I mean, it's right here. This weapon is a monster out there, so definitely use your unlock token on it. Honestly, I feel like it's the best weapon to have right now, um, and it's going to be a fan favorite, man. I, I personally, I truly think it's going to be a favorite for the uh, community, and honestly, one of the most powerful, most accurate, best fire rate, and uh, very easy, easy to handle recoil. Um, very good weapon. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. I hope you enjoyed the information that was given. Good luck this year, guys. I want to wish everybody, like all the YouTubers, all the good people in the call in the Call of Duty community, I just want to wish you guys a great a great year for Call of Duty, man. All right. So um, it, once again, man, if you guys are brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more daily content. I upload every single day. Um, I try to live stream every single day. Once you subscribe, you can enter the giveaway for a $50 PSN or Xbox gift card at the end of this month. If you guys enjoyed this video, once again, if you enjoyed the gameplay, if you just want to support your boy Gray, hit that thumbs up on, on, the, uh, on the video. Hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel about World War II, man. Like, did it live up to the hype? Was it overhyped? Like, let me know in the comment section, man. But how do you guys feel about this weapon? And uh, once again, man, thank you all so much for the support. Make sure that notifications are turned on and all that good stuff for your boy. Till the next one, guys. Thank you for watching. My name is Gray. <laughs> Peace.